So I've got to be very, very careful on this flight because Qantas does not like cameras. They don't like any of that kind of stuff. So, oh yeah, okay, bro. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Gold Coast Airport here in Gold Coast, Queensland, folks. We are doing a flight review again today. Flying on Qantas. First time, first time flying on Qantas. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited. I don't want to leave any of my friends down here in the Gold Coast, but it comes a part of traveling, folks. So um, a last minute, last minute flight booked to Melbourne. So. Uh, let's do it. Let's get all checked in. Got our bags right here, ready to go. And uh, yeah, Qantas, first time. Let's do a flight review and let's see if we can live up to Josh Cahill standards. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, shit. All right, folks, we've made it into the airport. Let's head on over to the Qantas desk. And uh, let's find a way to check it. We've we actually already checked in online, but we're gonna see if we can try and get a middle uh, a middle seat, a, a window seat, not a middle seat, a window seat. So let's find out, see if we can get that. And uh, uh, check-ins on the other side, but uh, let's find out, see if we can get a middle seat and check out the customer service. Here we go. All right, folks. All right, folks, we're at the check-in. It's the little kiosk here. So I'm just gonna scan my boarding pass. Let's play it below. All right, folks, bring off our bag tag. Perfect, perfect. Oh, it just throws it out at me. <laughs> All right, folks, let's go get this little bag tag on. Yeah, throw it like that. And then we'll go to the desk and see if we can find a window seat. There was a last minute booking yesterday. I, I'll put a little more information here in a second, probably past security. Let's get this bag into baggage claim. Hey, how are you? <laughs> I am headed off to Melbourne. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Thank you. No worries. I can put these together. All right. Gate 11 today, boarding at 2.10. 2 10. Okay. I do have it on my phone. Yeah, I should be okay. Uh, just in case. Yeah, just in case. Yeah. Does it happen to, does it happen to be a window seat available by chance? Yeah. I kind of booked my last minute, so probably not, but it never hurts to ask. <laughs> Nah, that's okay, no worries. Yeah. A couple of middle, okay. Nah, that's okay, no worries. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Gate 11, okay. Alrighty, thanks so much. Got all checked in. Gate number 11 today, folks. Let's head off to the gate. She did say there is no window seat available, unfortunately, so that's all right. Security. Security is quite empty, which is nice. I'm about to turn my camera off, of course, but security is quite empty. No middle seat today. I'm in middle, ugh, I keep saying middle seat. I'm in a middle seat. No window seat. That's all right. I booked it last minute. That's what I get. I'm going to turn the camera off. Go through security. I'll check in past. Let's go. All right, folks, we just made it to the gate. So my flight board's in about an hour, um, but uh, I figured I'd give you a little bit more information. So we're supposed to be flying on a Boeing 737-838 today, so it's probably a, uh, probably a max 8, I suppose. Um, all the av geeks can correct me if I'm wrong. But um, yeah, 16 years old, 16 years old, so not that bad. Not that bad, not super old. You know, some, some of these other planes, the Fokker 100s and, you know, the Saab, you know, the Saab um, 4330s, I think it is called. Uh, some of those planes are 30, 35 years old. <laughs> Prop planes. Okay, I might be on one soon, so stay tuned. But uh, this time, again, flying Qantas. I've never flew Qantas before. Um, this is very exciting. So uh, I'll give you a little bit of a rundown. So 
Uh, last night I was trying to find out where I'm going to go. I'm sitting here at the Gold Coast. I still have no idea where I'm going to go. Still have no idea where I'm going to go. And um, I was just checking flights. I could be in Perth. I could be in Melbourne. I could be in Sydney. I could be in Darwin. You know, that's, I mean, pretty much all four corners of the country. So I saw a deal back to Melbourne and uh, I've got quite a few connections back in Melbourne. Um, I was hoping to go north, but uh, yeah, we're not going north. <laughs> we're going back south. I found a really good deal, 200 bucks. 200 bucks, not bad, last minute. Last minute, Australian dollars, okay? So um, I know a bunch of folks, oh, why would you pay that? Why would you pay that? Well, I mean, flights to Darwin were 700, you know? And 200 bucks on Qantas, last minute, that's pretty good, you, got, you gotta admit. So. Um, Virgin Australia was even more, and that's minus the bag and minus the seat. So, um, but anyway, folks, so first time flying Qantas today, very excited. And um, yeah, I know how they get with their, uh, with their reviews and their cameras and whatnot. So I've got to be very, very careful on this flight because Qantas does not like cameras. They don't like any of that kind of stuff. So we'll have to finagle our way around it. Um, there is no window seat available either because I did book it last minute. Um, so there's only middle seats, so I'm in a middle seat, so uh, we will try and record as much as we can, but we'll be fine. We'll be fine. So board our flight in less than an hour She's and get our way go. back to Melbourne. No one knows I'm going back to Melbourne. It'll be a nice little surprise. I was there last week with JC, but no one knows that I'm coming back. They think I'm going north, so um, that's a little run down there. So we'll sit here for a bit, explore the terminal, get on the flight, let's go. Been chilling here for a bit. Um, just chilling right in front of the Hungry Jacks. You love to see it, love to see it. Pretty much Burger King of Australia. Yeah, you love to see it. Um, I'll give you a little view. Yeah, the Hungry Jacks. It's so weird to see Hungry Jacks and not Burger King, folks. But anyway, um, they just called our flight 879 Qantas on to Melbourne. There's a huge line, so I'm just not even going to be in a rush to get over there. We're all going to the same place. We're all going to be there on time. Um, quick question for you. So folks who like to fly a lot, um, number one, do you get in line first or do you get in line last? I mean, people who are in group seven should not be lining up in group number one when the group number one is called. So do you guys do that? Be honest, be honest. And number two, the big one, the burning question. When the plane lands and you get to the gate, and as soon as the seatbelt sign gets turned off, do you just jump up out of your seat or do you just sit there and chill? Okay, I'll give you mine. So for me, uh, if I'm in an early group, okay, I'll get in line. But if I'm in a later group, boarding group, which I normally am, because I'm always flying economy, hashtag always fly economy, uh, I'm gonna get to the plane last. Why not? Like, what's the rush? Like, well, I mean, now if I'm late to the gate, that's different. But like, if I'm here and I'm in the back Final row, call hold on. For Rex, flight five. Four, nine, Oops. All right, had to wait for that announcement to go away. Um, so I always get in line last. I never get in line first because what's the point? Especially if I'm in row 45, it doesn't make any sense. And also, if once the plane lands, I'm never jumping up. I'm just chilling. Now, if I have a tight connection, that's different. But always tell the flight attendant before you go so they can let you off first because um, a lot of people just jump up out of their seat when the plane lands and then you're all stuck. Doesn't make any sense, I don't get it, I don't understand. Again, you know, some situations call for it. if you have a tight connection or, or whatever, that's different. But if, you, if you've got nowhere to be, it doesn't make any sense. Everyone just jumping up at the same time, everyone still does it. You're gonna be standing up forever, like, you know. And for my tall people, your head's gonna be all crooked under the, under the thing, people opening up their bags. So it doesn't make any sense, I don't get it, I personally don't get it, but Again, certain situations, that's different. You've got nowhere to be. Just sit and relax. You're not going anywhere anyway, so it doesn't make sense to just stand up and clog up the plane, you know? So um, anyway, folks, I'm gonna get to the gate. Um, it looks like they started boarding now, so I'm gonna get in line and uh, we'll see what happens with my camera. I might have to pull out my phone. I might get some phone footage because uh, Qantas, they don't like cameras. We're gonna do it anyway. Let's go, folks. <laughs>
folks, welcome to the in flight review. It took off about 30 minutes ago. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, just got on the plane, sat down, did a little seat review, and um, now we're all right. Now I'm in the middle seat, so I've got to hold the camera up close just to keep the privacy of the two people on the side of me. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, class service, class service. Okay, I'll show you what we got. Got us a sausage roll, ladies and gentlemen, and then a full can, full can of Sprite slash lemonade. Um, gotta love it, ladies and gentlemen. World class, world class service here on Qantas. I'm gonna dig in before it gets cold. So far, good job. Welcome. Landed here at Melbourne Telemarine Airport. You love to see it, folks. Back home. Back home, ladies and gentlemen. You can't, you, you can't keep me away from Melbourne, man. You can't keep me away. So I'm going to be here for the week. Um, not able to get a lab check. That's what I'm calling the Lou Review now. Everyone calls it a Lou Review. We'll call it a lab check. Okay. Not able to get a lab check today. Um, those sausage rolls kicked in and everyone... <laughs> And to everyone on the flight, so everyone was in the uh, everyone was in the bathroom today. So uh, unfortunately, couldn't get that left check on Qantas, but uh, that's all right. Uh, phenomenal service, phenomenal service, folks. Um, everyone was great, so nice. Full can, full full can of pop, sausage rolls, and a little Lindor chocolate at the end. I mean, come on, come on. Uh, I hate to say, EasyJet's not doing that, okay? But that's all right. I mean, you get what you pay for. I mean, Qantas is. Qantas is top notch, folks. So, anyway, uh, we are on our way out uh, to baggage claim, and hopefully, we'll get the Sky Bus. Uh, we'll take the Frankston Sky Bus down to St. Kilda, and the Frankston bus will take us right outside, right outside of Summer House, uh, back to where it all started just five and a half months ago. So, anyway, uh, we'll continue on, get our bag, and get out of here it's not that busy at the moment so hopefully it stays that way uh given it's about five o'clock on a saturday but uh we'll figure it out get our bag and get on out of here let's go That is the end of this video. I got my very nice big hiking bag. And of course, my day bag. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of this video. Thank you, Qantas, for the amazing, amazing service. Flight 879, I believe, from Gold Coast to Melbourne. On time, departure, and early, early arrival. You love to see it, you love to see it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for the incredible service, folks, if you have a chance to hop on Qantas, a Qantas flight. Yes, it might be a little more expensive, but think of it as the Delta of Australia, okay? Just a little bit better, a little bit better in my opinion. Um, that's coming from a US citizen, so, you know. Anyway, folks, <laughs> yeah, great service, and uh, I definitely will be flying Qantas again when I have the opportunity, uh, but I'm not uh, trying to be a budget backpacker, but we'll see what happens, ladies and gentlemen. Hop on that Qantas flight, get out in the world, travel, Share this video with the folks you know. Share it with the folks you don't know. Let me know what you think of this review. Again, sorry for not doing the lab check. Um, again, those sausage rolls were clearing through people. Clearing through people. So there was a line. And then all of a sudden, it was time to, to depart. So anyway, I've got uh, about 20 minutes to hop on my bus and get down to St. Kilda. Back to where it all started five years, months, five months, five years, five months ago 
here in Australia. So um, share it with the folks you know, share it with the folks you don't know, say something nice to someone and uh, love each other, be kind to one another. I'll see you in the next video.